Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. <clears throat> Here to do my melting box for the week. So everything that I plan to melt from this week. This week is going to be another use it up week. So I got halfway through my stash last week pulling out almost everything that could be finished. Not quite everything, but most things that could be finished. So this week I continued working my way through the stash, pulled out a whole bunch more things that I can finish. Again, not everything here is things that I can finish. There are a few scents that I just either really wanted to melt this week or I thought that they would be, um, they would go well with some of what I'm melting because, you know, I like to have different scents around the house. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. So the sorts of brands that are, I, the boxes, because I stash by brand, so um, the brand boxes that I went through this time were uh, Vintage Chic Scents, uh, Teddy Bee's Large Stuff. So I did the souffles last week. This week I did, I went through the larger stuff. I don't think there was much there that I could finish though or anything really. Um, maybe one clamshell. Uh, L3, um, like masculine, uh, earthy, woody, sea salty, you know, all of those sorts of scents. I've got a box for that. I didn't go to the L3 fruity box because I just, the weather at the moment doesn't really call. It's fruity fizzy and that, there's just really not much fruity fizzy I want to melt right now. Um, a big mixer box that has like uh, Savannah Blue, uh, Dessa's, Hayden Rowe, Pharmacist Daughter. Uh, so I went through that. And another box that has K and Empire Alchemy. So um, that's kind of the brands that are in the mix this time. And L3 Scoops. I went through the L3 Scoops as well. Okay, so let's get stuck into it because I do have to go and work after this. Uh, so this one, I'm not 100% sure if I'll finish it. I kind of hope I do because I'm not that keen on it. Uh, Vanilla Birch Sugar Cookie Royale from L3. So I don't mind um, L, uh, Vanilla Birch in a bakery blend, but that one's just a little bit too Vanilla Birchy. Um, L3 Waffle Cone Blackberry Cotton Candy Boardwalk Mother Clouds. It's a nice sweet kind of scent. A little bit over Boardwalk Mother Clouds, but it's alright. This one I won't finish this week, but I probably only, I could probably finish this off in the next couple of weeks. And because I feel like the throw is not where it used to be, I probably should. So this is a loaf of Oregon Autumn King of the North from L3. So um, I love, love, love this scent so much. But yeah, it's just, um, it's a couple of years old now and it does feel like it's not doing as well as it used to. L3 African Rain. So this was a very... Um, very tropical floral rain scent. It's not bad. Uh, I'm melting this in my office today, but because there's one piece left, I figured I'd finish it off next week. So uh, L3 Green Apple Brown Betty Kalachis. And I do have a few, like I said, I do have a few things that are bigger that I just picked because they were complementary to the scents I was, I'd already picked. So uh, Rose Girl Spruce Willis, which is like a blue spruce flannel sheets blend. Uh, Super Tarts Moody. So this is uh, Cedar Rain June. Cedar, rain, cedar wood, rain, and juniper berry. I love that one. Teddy Bee's Snowpocalypse 2021. So this one is Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, Cashmere Sandalwood, Vanilla Bean, and Cedar. Um, I don't know why I haven't melted this one yet. So it was poured in November last year. I guess it's just been warmer weather and I figure a scent called Snowpocalypse. It doesn't smell like it's a must-do winter scent, though. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, smells good. Uh, L3 Bellatrix, so this is uh, Oak Moss and Black Amber, um, a Lumberjack from the Pharmacist Daughter, so this one is Shaven Haircut, Graphite and Lumberjack, uh, Tea Time Tarts Everyday and Rustling, so this is uh, Leaves, Toasted Marshmallow, Vanilla Sandalwood, Brown Sugar, Super Tarts Oklahoma, didn't get to that this week, so Blueberry Biscuits, I think I'm hesitant to use it up because I really like it and I don't have any more of it. Savannah Blue Smoking Hot. I feel like I'm pulling all of the non-finishy stuff right now. Uh, so Birch Black Pepper Wood Smoke Vanilla Bean Noel. This smells amazing. Her Wood Smoke is just phenomenal. So looking forward to that. Uh, Hayden Row Mountain Mist. So a very strong tree scent. Super Tarts Beast. So Blueberries and Cornbread. Another really good blueberry scent from Super Tarts. Empire Alchemy Grey Days. So this one is White Woods Palo Santo Leather Vetiver Marshmallows and Amber. This labelless bag is Pasadena from Empire Alchemy. So this one was, um, it's like a laundry, it's got rose, it's got lime and caramel, I think it's got sea salt. It's, it's a very 
interesting scent. Um, it's, it's kind of fruity, but fresh, but I don't know. It's very, I really like it though. Uh, Jess's homespun scents for foliage, so time to start the new bar of this one. Uh, Dew leaves crackling fire in outdoor air. I do love that one. Uh, Trick or treat from the pharmacist's daughter. So this is Cider Lane Marshmallow Fireside Pumpkin Pearl Waffles. It's a pretty good one. Cranberry Woods from K. So I like that. Pecan Pie from Pumpkin Parcel. Uh, Coconut Coffee from the pharmacist's daughter. So this is... Coffee House, Coconut Cream Pie, Coconut Shortbread Cookies, Sugar Cookie Royale. So I'm not the biggest fan of Coffee House, but I do like those um, coconutty bakeries that they do. Um, and they tend to be more bakery forward than coffee forward. So, Sorry, I'm going to drink my tea while I go. Uh, Fall Fun Fest. So this is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Yellow Cake and Zucchini Bread from Vintage Sheep Scents. I don't think I was a huge fan of that one, but it's... Right to finish. Uh, southbound Good Morning Pumpkin. So pumpkin pecan waffles and zucchini bread. <clears throat> uh, that Smell Good Sharp Blackberry Thumbprint. Uh, fresh baked cookies and a dollar for blackberry jam. I need to get more of this. This Every time I get it, I'm like, oh my god, I need more. And then I don't place a That Smell Good Shop order for ages. And I just don't get it again. But I love that scent. Uh, I'll probably blend this uh, K Blueberry with something. I've been sitting on this one for a while and I haven't used it. I don't know why. Um, L3 Bale Hook. So this is uh, Chrome Cuban Tobacco Whipped Cream Bottle Fun of Clouds. Got a shot of K Caramel Pipe Tobacco. Uh, K Zucchini Bread Blueberry Cobbler and Regular Coffee, which is um, Cuban Coffee. Pumpkin Pick Me Up from... Um, the pharmacist's daughter. So this one is Coffee House Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and Cinnamon Sugared Donuts. Uh, blueberry Berry Waffle Cone and Kalachis. I did like that one last time I melted it. Uh, VCS Aunt Nelly's Zucchini Supreme. So Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Sugar Cookie Dough and Zucchini Bread. I do like the Aunt Nelly's, uh, like sort of those zucchini bread blends that... Um, VCS does, but the sugar cookie dough in that one is not my favourite, so, because I just don't like sugar cookie dough. This was a good blueberry bakery, so vintage sheets and mean. So this one is um, blueberry cobbler zucchini bread cupcakes at Tiffany's. Teddy Bee Surfside Sweet Shop, um, probably not going to finish it, but uh, birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter and beach treats. So I know that this one is really popular. I feel like I am the only person in the world that is not that enamored by it like don't get me wrong I don't hate it I don't mind it and considering I'm still not really a fan of beach nights beach treats at the moment um I can still melt it and be like yeah it's okay but I just I've never loved this one it's just yeah but it's fine this one on the other hand I love um I might finish this bag this week um I do have a couple more souffles after this so strawberry fudgery which is strawberry pound cake uh vanilla fudge butter and patisserie love that one uh l3 strawberry pound cake uh beach night santa's on keto so that one's always been quite enjoyable for me uh pharmacist daughter r.i.p so this one is blackberry jam zucchini bread funnel cake jelly donut it's not bad it mostly smells like blackberry jam though for me uh l3 cashmere cedar Palo Santo from Vanilla Sandalwood. That one is a good one, but I feel like it has triggered headaches for me in the past. So we'll see how it goes this time. Hello Autumn from Empire Alchemy. So this is pumpkin chai latte, baked orange bread pudding, and vanilla whiskey. Uh, Abraham from Super Tarts. So this one is Cracker Jacks, peaches, vanilla glazed sugar hookies. I don't love it because I don't like the smell of Cracker Jacks. So I've realized. Uh, Teddy Bee's <clears throat> Peach Cobbler. So this is uh, fresh peaches with a touch of cinnamon baked. Cinnamon baked into buttery golden crust, BBW type. This is a different peach cobbler to her peach cobbler that she has in peach cobbler circus cookies, by the way. It's a really good peach cobbler, but it's not the same one. Um, because she actually <clears throat> told me that. Um, and if you look on her uh, scent list now, she does have, I'm pretty sure she's got the two peach cobblers um, listed out. Because she's got two strawberry pound cakes as well. She has the BBW type and she has her own type. I'm not sure with the peach cobbler if the one in... Peach Cobbler Circus Cookies or Peach Cobbler 
that said, um, I don't know if that's the um, her own blend or it's a different oil. But anyway, uh, this unlabeled slither. I have labels fall off in my collection and I lose them. Um, it's really bad. Uh, this is sugar zucchini streusel and pears in caramel sauce. So one of the Dessa's Builder Bars. She's got Builder Bars. Dessa is doing a pre-order next weekend, the 21st, I think. Um, one of her unlimited pre-orders. So um, I'm excited about that, but I also don't know if I can participate because Teddy B's also has their pre-order that weekend. And I'm not sure if financially I can make both work. And I'm kind of, I'm sad about that because I will probably prioritize Dessa's over, um, I mean, sorry, Teddy B's over Dessa's, but I really do love doing the blender bars with Dessa's. Like you just, <clears throat> it doesn't even make any sense because it's literally just, she does one scent as a chunk and one as an overcore. So really I could just at any time buy those two scents and blend them together at a 50% ratio and get the same thing. But I just love the look of those bars. Like they just, I just love them. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I will see if I can make both work, even if it's just a little order at Dessa's to get a couple of bars. I've got a couple of bars I've got, um, plans for, um, then I will do that. Those unlimited pre-orders tend to only open for about an hour though. So just if you're considering going in, just be prepared for that. <coughs> um, Vintage Chic Sense Martha Stewart. So this is uh, zucchini bread, vanilla butter fudge and cupcakes at Tiffany's. I do really enjoy this. The Martha and Snoop with the brown sugar is um, better, I think. Uh, Empire Alchemy Earl Grey Tea Pistachio Crusted Donuts. Smells good. I don't know. Empire Alchemy seems to have a pistachio that works for me weirdly because I'm not a pistachio fan. Um, the Pharmacist's Daughter Stud. So this one is London Fog Perfect Man and Fierce. I've been really into blends with Fierce lately. Like, I just, I don't know. It's just a really good masculine tone for me. This one is seriously carried over box to box for like four weeks. I just have to melt it this week. Uh, Charcoal Tonka Flannel Sheets and Steel Sugar from L3. I love Steel Sugar, but I think it's, I think the flannel sheets, yeah, I think it's just maybe a little bit too heavy on the just steely masculine kind of vibes i was hoping still sugar weirdly because it's called still sugar but i was hoping that would kind of break it down a little bit but not as much as i'd like and then this one i have had for a while i haven't dated it but i'm pretty sure i got it like last year sometimes so l3 uh black sugar bulldog miller cloud smoked vanilla and leather because i just don't like melting leather scents over summer so um Sugar and spice cider from Empire Alchemy. So bourbon spiked cider, rich caramel, caramel, pomegranate, and whipped cream. My favorite things from Vintage Chic Scents. So this is uh, fresh picked strawberries, fresh baked bread, and vanilla butter fudge. It's very bready smelling, so we'll see. Savannah Blue uh, Saucy Santa. So vanilla bourbon pipe smoke and sugar cookie. It's got a good strong sugar cookie in that one. Uh, the Pharmacist's Daughter Bull Sluice. So this is uh, Blue Sugar, Marshmallow, Fireside, and Flannel Sheets. Um, L3 Beach Boy T-shirt. So um, this one is White Linen, Vanilla Oak, Wood Sage, Sea Salt. This was a customer blend. It smells really good. It's very it's clean, but it's, it's clean woody. Um, <clears throat> L3... Blackberry, Cashmere Seed, a Sandalwood Toasted Mallow, Deadpool from L3. So this one, another Fierce Blend. So this is Vanilla Patchouli and Abercrombie Fierce type. <coughs> Sorry. Um, Campfire Ghost. So Vetiver, Rosewood, Amber, Lord of Misrule, Charred Marshmallow and Vanilla Woods. I'm not prepared to do on camera the amount of throat clearing I need to fix this problem that I have right now. And because I'm literally three cents away from the end, I can't be bothered pausing to do it either. So sorry, you're just going to get my um, over-talked voice for a few moments. <clears throat> oh, there I go. Black cat, uh, black cypress and cassis. So this is uh, from L3. So this is cypress, sweet cotton candy, ambergris, and dried tobacco. It's a really good one. I'm sad to kind of finish it, but I'll... Um, in by Alchemy Scarecrow. So this is uh, charred hay bales, wood fire, or smoked berries, and autumn air. And then the last scent I have is Rainy Day Monday from the Farmer's Daughter, which is black sea, amber, noir, plum, and citrus. 
So that is everything that I plan to melt from this week. It's the same thing, hoping to have a lot of empties and just clear out a little bit of space. I do need to come up with a project for my loaves because I feel like I don't melt my loaves enough. Um, I don't want to pick all my loaves in one week though because, I mean, I could, but I feel like I would actually break the box that I store for my melting box So, um, because of the weight. So I'm not going to do that, but I might need to sort of try and do like a minimum of four loaves a week or something just to make sure that they are getting rotated effectively. Um, so that's it. I hope you're all doing really well. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.